slight change of plan today. Oh, good morning, BTW. I'm up and out early from campsite. I was up and out at six this morning. So what I'm doing this morning is I'm meeting up with John. Sorry if there's all, if the screen's dirty, but that's life. I'm meeting up with John and we are going to take out a few people for a little bit of a hike and a bit of a forage. And it's the people from the charity Man Down who, uh, oh, fun blaring them, who, uh, it's like a mental health charity and so we're just taking them out for a few hours just along the coast just to, John will show them a few crabs and whatnot and I'll show them some wild edibles, uh, maybe just do like a fall, I'll fall over on seaweed and that, you know, like a comical fall, cheer everyone up and that. That's all I'm there for, comical falls. <laughs> Which is also my rap name. Uh, look at these, mate. Look at these. Look at that. Size of these, look. Prehistoric. Gunnera manicata is the name of these things. Covered in spines as well, but absolutely prehistoric and beautiful. Matter, does it? I mean, fish don't care, do they? Like, the colours change in the water anyway, so your reds get lost after a couple of meters anyway. It comes to kind of just shades of brown, green, or blue. Yeah, we're all just shapes, aren't we? I'm here at Spearfish in UK. This is Chris. I've just bought some new fins. Five glass leader fins. And so I'm just going to attach the pocket. So I've just got to drill a couple of holes and put the fixing kit together. Yeah. So if you need to attach these pockets for travelling, just undo it, pop it off, change it whenever you like. Perfect. So when was the last time you were out? Um, well, just on Friday. the weekend. Friday? No, Monday. Did you did you get anything? I got two six pound bass. Yeah, he did. Show off up there, look. Yeah. That's why he's up there and we're down here. <laughs> Bird in the perch up here. There he is, look. <laughs> Lording it over his with his six pound bass. <laughs> right, thanks guys. He's really, really sorting me out here. Um, there'll be a link below to talk to me. What is it called? Spearfish in UK. Spearfish in UK. Check it out. Gracias. Right. Right, Take cheers lads. Good luck. Take it easy. We've got groups from Saltash right the way down to Penzance. So it's, so it's, been, it's Cornwall based? It's Cornwall based. I think, although they keep getting offers of uh, other locations, it's the practicality of, of that. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I think it will probably stay as a Cornwall based situation. Yeah. Um, totally dependent on charitable donations. Um, as I said to you earlier about the chap who's just finished a triathlon every day oh, was that through for... April and so the, the, the proceeds from that was for man down right um, and we have lots of very kind people these guys I didn't go but last weekend they had a uh, weekend away in um, on the banks of the Tamar yeah one of my friends has been direct her brother was helped by this charity oh, and okay. uh, she said it helped him help massively so if you're watching i'm going to leave a link below to the man down if you want to go over give some donations just follow him online that would be much appreciated thank you I'll show you the, the actual official official uh, the official merchandise logo logo so that's actually it there so. we go and there's a web link there and you approve of it don't you little un do you mind, can I put him on the video? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. And he's got his lobster hook. We'll have a little bit of look at we'll have a look at that later. There we are. There you go, look at that. A mini fish locker in the making. What have you got there? What are they? Oh a small shell. Is that what it is? There you go. You might not have won lottery, mate, but you've got a small shell, so yeah. every cloud. Just talking about that, you'll know about dog whelks. Yeah? I've got them being like a carnivorous whelk. Eat the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh he's had him, hasn't he? Yeah. And if I find one, I'll point out, but they're, they're just quite Have you talked about them? Like and if you're going to forage these things, you have to be the element of surprise. If you hit them off, they'll come off straight away, but if you just tap them, you're not getting it off, are you? Brilliant, so yeah, um, you can have a little bit of look, you can have a little look at the, the charity down below if you'd like. Let's do a bit, let's do a bit. I'm going to get right out there and try and get one of the big lads. Right, you go there, don't you? Don't fall into water when I get overexcited, but I've, I've found a lobster. Decent size. Can I grab it though? It's got two, two entrance holes. I'm gonna have to get my legs wet a little bit and just get me hand in, aren't I? Right, I'm gonna block up this side at all with this rock. And this is, that's tactical, you see. 
my, water, my wellies are covered in water. It's life though, isn't it? Oh, I've squatted down in it as well. Right, bag's coming off, it's serious. And there's parts of his shell, so he's molted. It might have just been, a, it might be soft. So there is a shell in there. We get in without it biting me. Ah! Don't get me, don't get me. You can see, you can see the uh, back of it there, look. Oh, it's broke, but. It's a decent size, so it shed that recently, so it might be, it might be that it's soft. <sighs> really hollow. So, it's a decent so size. If, if the lobster that's in there is this lobster, oh yeah, it'll be a decent size. Yeah. Um, but it might also be soft. That, that was going to be the next words out of my mouth. I was going to say, has he, has he fought at all? Has he got older your hooker or anything? No, he's gone back. It's quite a deep hole, but he's got more... Oh, my wellies are covered in water. I've blocked that all off, so he can't get out that side. My battery, I don't have much battery, so we're going to turn this off and work on this lobster, because it'd be good to get out to show that that young lad. But it's... Uh, it's 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 ever so deep. Even if maybe we use that young lad's claw. Use that young lad. <laughs> use that young lad. Send him in by ankles. I thought you meant it's only when you use. It's biting my face. Right, that'll do. Pull him out. <laughs> Just poke him up the hole, and when it bites over, pull it out. You're you're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fishing and it's survival of the fittest. <sighs> right, I've changed battery, and we've got an idea because we've seen that it's got there's like two holes to this den. So John's gonna go in one hole, and I'm gonna go in other. Like you, <laughs> look, <laughs> whatever. Right. You can't say that without it sounding you filthy. Always do this. Sorry, always... sorry, that was extra filth, but ignore it. If you think it's filthy, it's because you've got a filthy mind. Right, here's your hook. Let's go. Double team. Double teaming. Okay. Right, right. Hang, See, on. hang on, hang on. Right, just get ready because uh, he's going to turn around and he's going to come towards you. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Ah. <laughs> there she is, look ya. Is she a she? Aye, she is a she. She's a lively one. Oh. Bingo wings. Bingo wings, mate. I'm cut there, I'm cut there. John's cut. We've shed blood, sweat and tears for this. Do you think? Yeah, you hold it and I'll just... Don't you? Yeah, lovely female lobster, like you said. No eggs, no v notches, and what are you call it? 96 mil, 96 to 98 millimeters. There you go, and that is legal. And just for those that don't know, for some reason up north we have different legal sizes for keeping and. 12 different sea fisheries districts in the UK and all of them have got slightly different rules and slightly different minimum landing sizes. 87 for the ones it's 89, here it's 90. Right. But that, I know I've measured my four. <laughs> he knows, it's not his first rodeo. Yeah, that is well over. Yeah. You just measure from the back of the eye to the back of there. Yeah. You know the bylaws being that you can't land a pregnant one, there's no eggs. No eggs. And there's no V-notches. There's no V-notches in the back, so it's a keeper, one for the pot. And a hard fought one at that. Right, get these out. We've got some claws in here that we were just showing little lad who's come out foraging with us, but they can go back. So we don't, you don't always need to be diving down to silly depths to get a lobster. This was just us at low tide having a little scoot about. And we've seen more lobsters than we caught. We've seen quite a few. And we're going to have, continue having a little look about and see what else we can find. And then I've got to get going. Are you ex-military, are you? Yeah, yeah well, I was in Power Rangers, so I whatever. Back. Right, tell me what you're cooking, Beck. <laughs> I got me some uh, onion and garlic and ginger here, and that's gonna fry up. Right, with just for the record, <laughs> just for the record, we're not in the we're not uh, wild camping or anything. We're there's a, a campsite up there, and we've decided to come down here to this. Look at it; it's pretty it's beautiful. It's a pretty cool little spot. And uh, Bex, legendary Lily, has brought a shitload <laughs> of stuff to cook up. Uh, a pho, which is a Southeast Asian yeah. dish. Vietnamese, yeah. Which is Vietnamese. Mm. Hey, mate, what you got in here? <laughs> there. We got in there. Uh, garlic, ginger, and onion. That's going to go in the coriander now. 
And then once these are nice and golden brown, we've got some shiitakes going in, just over this side. And then that's gonna go in with half a litre of water, some miso, some broth, and it's gonna be beautiful. There you go, look. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, she's, like a a bloody, a she's a professional. <laughs> Who am I out with, Delia? And uh, yeah, there's loads of little, and I mean, this is just look at this. This is the uh, just to bring you a little bit of wholesomeness. If Becca wasn't enough for you, which it should have been, look at this. Uh, they have little kids that come down here from the local school and, uh, and do little bushcraft things. The woman at the campsite runs it, and they've all made these little things and put their names on. Look, William, Joshua, Poppy. Chloe, ah, oh. Chai Luen, that's like a uh, Welsh name, Finlay, Min, I might make my own and put it on there. We've even got, and don't judge me, Orbex, but look at that, we've got ice, we've got... We're having cocktails mate! We're having cocktails. We're passion fruit martinis. I mean, nothing screams bushcraft wilderness camp more than passion fruit martinis, am I right? What is in that though, honestly? Oh, I've got to remember. Cinnamon. Yeah. Star anise. Cardamom. Grand masala. Something else. Cloves! Cloves, cloves, cloves and cloves, hair. And a bit of bouillon and a lock of Becca's hair. Right, Miso. Miso is always good. It doesn't always have to be a slab of meat on the grill, guys. Yeah, guys. And I include me in that, guys. <laughs> A little spoon in my back pocket. She's got a spoon in her back pocket, <laughs> if, in case you're wondering what that was. Okay, going in now is the baby corn and the monstu. All right, so now that the monstu and the corn has started to cook, I'm putting in these noodles that I pre-soaked earlier. And then What last, noodles are they? These are rice noodles. There you go. Yeah. Cool. There you go, for any of you gluten-free people. And so much so, food. This is going to be like dinner for yeah. you and John tomorrow as well, isn't it? There you go, John, if you're watching, if I've left this in. <laughs> um, Got your lunch for the boat. That's it. I'll you don't go. need any fish, mate. You just have a bit of fur, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fur locker. Patchoy! And that is going to wilt on Green top. Shit. Look at that. That's a lot of food, isn't it? That is a lot of food. Right, this is the bushcraft Tom Crook. Well, watch this. <laughs> Normally round a fire you'd think red wine, whiskey, maybe even a brew. Not us, we've got, what is it? Funkini passion fruit martini, mate. Just don't worry about me, because I've got a passion fruit, fun <laughs> it's called a funkini or whatever. Don't worry about me lads, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry about me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh shit, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> so that's just, there you go. And this is, it's just a passion fruit martini. Don't judge me because I'm judge him. Human. Judge him. You're <laughs> just going to drink it straight. Yeah, I'm just going to have it. No, we're going to pour it into our little cups and then we're going to see what it tastes like. <laughs> little taste test. We're going to. Uh, so Hazy's channel's evolved. He's no longer doing beer reviews. He's now doing pre-made cocktails. We're doing pre-made cocktails. We do. I've got a second channel which we do makeup tutorials on. Um, <laughs> just stick around, like, share, and subscribe, guys. <laughs> We've got fruitini merch coming soon. Look how romantic this is though, can you, well, it's oh, yeah. not romantic, but just nice, I mean. Uh, Becca's got little tea lights going, she's cooked, all oh, this is, this isn't me. I brought the wood, that's it. So, I think your boy's getting dated, guys, so, if you see me, well, if you don't see me again, <laughs> that's it. I live in Cornwall now with my new wife. But we're bushcrafting as yeah, well, we're mixing yeah, it up, we're yeah. just bringing it in. You know, it's 2022, guys, don't, you know, you don't have to be all like, feel raven and hard shit. Sometimes it can be fruitinis and ice. And tofu, and tofu on the tofu. fire. <laughs> yeah. 2022. Go on then. Ply me. <laughs> oh god, even look. Look at that pot. It looks so good, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, you could say good or... <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> MCQ, if you're still watching, I know you do. There you go, mate. I've, you taught me everything I know. Look at that. Despicable. Cheers. And also, yeah. Cheers, mate. Nice one. First bite is with the eye. Oh, he's got skills, isn't he? I'm gonna hire this one. You get to over there with all the sawdust and stuff. Um, we'll take the, seeds, take the seeds out. Uh, can you handle it hot? <laughs> yeah, I like spicy food. Okay, well, we'll leave, the, we'll leave the 
Susie she likes spicy food. Do you? Can yeah. you handle it hot? Can you handle it? Dude, yeah. Always leave your knuckle so that it doesn't uh, just something to do with God <laughs> Ramsey. All right. <laughs> That's the Funkini talking. <laughs> that, that sentence is brought to you by Funkini. <laughs> The, uh, the first bite is with the eye. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's got a shitload of chilies on it. <laughs> Do you like chilies? Yeah, it's kind of good. Hang on, and the hemp seeds. Extra protein. There you go. Three teaspoons of this is 10 grams of hemp seeds for anyone that uh, wants to do hiking and is worried about your protein source as a vegan. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little bit of seaweed because. Oh, yeah. Iodine, mm -hmm. you need a bit of iodine, yes, and mate. this is a good vegan source of iodine. Oh, so, dude, that uh, looks great. Look at that. Well done. Thanks. Appreciate it. There you go, look. <laughs> no more steak on his channel now. He's gone vegan. Um, shout out Dorset Meat Company. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Um, right, that's amazing. That's really nice. Thank that's you. so good. I love it. It's one of my favourite things to cook on a fire. Mm. Morning glampers, it's stupid o'clock and John, aka John the Fish Locker has put out the call that I've got to go fishing and for some reason I can't get out of it because he's a very demanding man if you're watching this John, you're a nightmare mate you're a very demanding nightmare but I'm here for it Right, and here's the setup just in case you're wondering I'm there, I'm in the Hilleberg Alak 2 there's my truck and there's Bex in a MSR whatever the whatever it is permission to come aboard sir <laughs> he Why says you ever for permission to come aboard <laughs> there it is there it is i'm here with my boy john from the fish locker you know who he is and we're out well we're fishing obviously yeah, but we will be. well we will be john's just rigging up a what are you doing i am hopefully gonna try and catch us a couple of mackerel to get started with john's gonna catch us a couple of mackerel to get started with i'm just a deckhand Deckhead. I'm just a deckhead for this trip. I'm not going to do much fishing because uh, might have been out last night, whatevs. But John's going to do a lot of fishing and he's going to pull up some species and we're going to talk about them. And if we get any keepers, we'll maybe. You're looking at me like. <laughs> if John gets any keepers, yeah. we'll maybe eat them, will we, or not? Yeah, not? yeah, we'll maybe have a fillet or two. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, stick around anyway if you're into it. It's um, a lovely day, why wouldn't you want to be out at sea? Exactly, it's a lovely day to be out in the Cornish Sea. So, stay tuned, we'll see what we can pull in for you. <gasps> oh my god! Look! Oh ho -ho! Yes, mate! Oh, yes! That's, that is sick! We've just stopped after just that was mint with them dolphins wasn't it uh i was again i got a bit too excited if i'm honest i've calmed down a little bit now and <laughs> john don't don't give a don't like dolphins as he told me <laughs> uh right and so we've stopped he's got his what they're out with all those squeaking and, <laughs> yeah you do. No, I mean, they're always lovely to see no matter no matter how many times you see them amazing always, always so what are we doing now what are you doing, this I should say? The first drift over an area of reef. And we're just, just seeing not only which direction the drift's going to go, how fast it's going to go. Yeah. Also, if there's any fish there. Right. We're only drifting over isolated areas of reef. They're only, they're only real small. So you only have to do a couple of drifts. If you haven't had anything, a knock or a bite or a fish, you know there's not much there. Right. Okay. And what sort of fish will it will there be? Pollock and bass. Pollock and bass. And there we are, look. There's John's wizardry. We're in 20, we're 18 metres, 20 metres, roughly 20 metres. It's, it's a reef. And it you can, goes up and down, that's you can see this is, the, yeah. And there's a, that's probably fish there in it, John, look. Yeah, there's a little patch of pilchards. A little patch of pilchards. Fish on. Decent bending it. Is he calling it? What are you calling? There it is there, look on the sounder. See the red marks, the red lines. That red marks, John's line and fish just darting about. What are you calling it? Ah, uh, Pollock. Pollock. He's called it right. Decent size. Capable size. Capable. Let's have a look. Tell you what though, they're hungry. 
It wasn't hanging about with that, was it? Bah, Straight down en there. Engulfed it. Got a nice little fillet off that. Yeah, man. That's a keeper. So we're off to a good start. What's that? What's that? Fish crazy eel. A, a fish crazy offshore eel. Right. And there it is. There we go. We've got a fish on. It's now special, but what Rod's doing, but. Can't bully it because I've only got a real small lure. He's only got a little small lure. Rumour has it. And Pollock just in shallow water. Just in 10 metres of water. Hey, up there, lad. And there he's not as big as the other one. You're only a little, really little tiny lure. Yeah. Tiny little thing, look. Tiny but expensive. And there he is. We don't need him, do we? See, picking them up, look, I'm not actually putting my fingers between the gills. You just slide them up alongside the gill cover. And he's right to watch out for in there for people who are just if watching. You don't touch the gills, they're all right, because the gills are really fragile. Right. And in it goes. Cheers, buddy. Away it goes to be snaffled by one at dolphins. See ya. Look at that. You might think that's a rock, but it's actually a seal. The size of it. He's seen us, but he doesn't care, look. He's too big. Whee! All right, look at that. You've seen the little mermaid. That's little mermaid after you've woken up after 10 pints. Little mermaid after you've married her. <laughs> that's little mermaid when she's let us all go a bit. That's, got, that's a comfort zone there, lads. Doesn't care about us. Look at it. Where's its fins, anyway? Doesn't seem like it's got any arms. Anyway, there you go, and that's a seal there, ladies and gentlemen. Better fisherman than me. He's the way he's better, yeah, definitely. Better swimmer than me. See you later, seal. See you later, Ian Beale. Thinking he looks all fit on there, doesn't he? Looks like a mess. We've just been drifting for quite a while with no luck, and uh, John's in luck. Been very sluggish. Yeah, a bit bigger than the other one. Nice to come by today. It's not easy easy fishing, is it today? That's what John's saying anyway. I think it might be because I'm hung over, they can sense it. There he is, look. That's a lovely specimen, is that? And fish is alright as well. Yep. Are you keeping it? No, I bet. Go. We're gonna let this one go, look. Catch and release. See the little right. on it. Oh uh, yeah, look. Scuzzy. Releasing fish like this, you can see he's still full of fight. All of his fins are right up. He's, he's all still really aggressive. Yeah. If you just kind of torpedo him in head first. And away he goes, look. Straight down. Boom. We're already like two or three metres below the water by the time they've realised it. Yeah. You get a burst of fresh oxygenated water over their lungs and away. Happy days. Some fish when the knackered, you know, you have to hold them. Like when you see people releasing carp. That's a lot of time, yeah. Knackered. You have to hold them in there. Then you just go straight down. Good, good. So, John's changed to feathers, little yeah, I was rig. I just thinking, we could see the fish down there on the sounder, but they just weren't having it. And I thought, well, it's maybe because the stuff that they're feeding on is so, so small, that whatever we're presenting to them, it just it isn't, they're not on the feed, they're not honed in for it. Yeah. And as soon as you were watching the screen there, weren't you, you could see yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little snack. And what is that one? Cold fish. Right, we we know my palm was a billet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coley, coalfish. Yeah. Same family as Pollock. Yeah. But not the same. You can tell the difference because these have got a straight lateral line, whereas a Pollock one has a bump in it. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Away she goes. A Kelpie Pollock. And we can tell because. Sorry. I'm just doing leading questions. <laughs> yeah, it is. Been living right in the kelp, as you can see all the little kelpy colours on each side. Get the gold in that, lovely. You can't probably, well, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's almost got like a purple on it. Yeah, yeah I can see, yeah, when you turn it. Yeah, been lovely. living right in the kelp, I mean, you can see it's got spots on its on its fins, stripes. It's just all camouflaged for where it's been living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely stuff. So we were just rigging up a new rig. And I've seen it distance and said, oh, oh no, that's not him. I've said, oh, look at them dolphins. They've got big fins. And John says, well, them. John just dropped what he was doing. He was like, right, let's get over there. They're not normal dolphins. They're called Risso's dolphins. If we see them again, 
they are really special they're, uh, they're massive and they're uh, a lot of weight on them right the dorsal fin was about not that tall yeah they look big like from a distance yeah they're massive and um you also are excited i got over them other little common dolphins uh get ready i'm gonna try and hold me, keep my shit together to be honest because they, they are special they are special and it's not you don't need a f excitable yorkshire idiot giving it what for oh look i'll just be quiet i'll just be quiet and let the let the footage do the talking oh what how can we get to them oh my god oh my god Sorry, I'm doing it. I'm being a white. They look mint. Oh, I'm too excitable, mate. There's a gang of them, a pod of them. A... There's loads of them. Here we go, look. Yeah, oh, look at that. Risso, dolphin. Dumb one. Dumb one. Scared them off. Huh? They're going to the boat. You might see them on that. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's in there. Like. <laughs> They're under the boat. Yeah, down here. To the left hand side of oh, the please breach, please come up. You saw it, didn't you? you saw like the full outline of it on there. Yeah. Oh, there was no mistake in that. Like, it's a whopper. <gasps> He's coming. What I've seen is about half a dozen of them. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> No. They are special animals. There's not many people that have seen them. Wow. A pod of Riso dolphins. Look at them. I think I saw seven at the, at the most. What? Yeah. In this group here. Oh, that was a good tail splash. And there they go. Drone oh, done. I forgot me <laughs> freaking drone, man. Done. There you go, built for job. Uncle Kermit, anyway, I've got something to do. I'm busy, I've hooked on to some here. This is it, welcome to, this is real fishing now. And in fact, if I had a YouTube channel, I'd call it real fishing. Not all sun and games, is it? No, I mean, it's raining now, we're all weather here. John knows what he's doing more. Hey up, mate, you gotta buy me a drink first. Hey. What's going on? Two, two dogfish. Not ideal, is it? We're going to cause a right little kerfuffle. Get my deck hands to pull them in. Look at that! <laughs> oh, you can hear how uh, sandy they are, like how scaly they are, like in a... Rasping around. Yeah, so rough. And were used for sandpaper back in the day. Just a couple of dogfish, mate. Me and a couple of dogfish. Um, you don't want to be getting a... T I mean, so when you rub them one way, it's fine, but then other way... So rough, so muscly, as John will attest to, because he's been wrestling with these recently under water. There you go, two dogfish, so we'll get them back in anyway. You gonna knock them or what? Uh, it's porpoise. What? Porpoise. There, look, a porpoise, which is just a little dolphin, basically, isn't it? Harbour porpoise, yeah. But we'll add it to the list of species. As you can see, we've... Oh, my battery's going to go. But as you can see, we've completely changed tack. John's changed tack. I've done nothing. Let's like, let's get that out there. There's a fish on this one. Yeah. On this one. So I'm just about to catch another fish here, look. And I feel it. I'll pull it in and then... Bosh. So the weather's taking a bit of a turn for the worst for us. So we've come to all... Some of John's pots. But first of all... He's just going to deal with this pollock, fillet it. So we'll show you. What are you doing now? You're going to talk me through this. No. You, I thought you were going to. Or are you just doing it? Demo. Huh? Just going to show you. Eh? Gonna show you. Just gonna I'll do one side and you can do it the other. Nah, mate. Show us by doing. 
Will it need pin burning or? Yeah. Yeah. Well, v burning's the easiest way to deal with this. If you get all the way up to where the belly cavity starts. Right. This pollock have got quite a Gut on them. quite a large belly cavity. Yeah, yeah I know he feels. So I've taken all the bone and taken all the meat off the bones all the way down the side of it. You can see the spine. And all the ribs here, on both sides. Yeah. So you can either carry it on and run down the back of the ribs, or you can open it up, go down the inside of the ribs. Are you an inside or an outside guy? I'm an inside. Guy. He's an inside guy, guys. Just like that. Look at that. There will be a little line of bones in here. And all you need to do is you just v-bone it out. That is the little line of bones there, look. So you've lost that much meat. And there's no chance of choking on the and bone. There are no bones in that. There's no bones in that, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Oi, gully. Stephen. Stephen Seagull. A pollock fillet for you. And a pollock fillet for your dish. Yeah, no, little. Huh? <laughs> what? There's just no off, is there? <laughs> no off I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying after What's time. That come down and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you come that close? Catch and cook it. They're a nightmare. The gullies? Mm. Ah, the people feeding them up piers. Yeah, that's it, innit? You start to associate people with food. That's it. Yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't fear you. Maybe they don't fear you. They don't, well, they should do. Especially after a couple of cans, we should move. We should move this, maybe. Yeah, no, that'd be right. You not feel like you could fight one off? But right now, no. Not in your current state. No, the best of me. So, what, mate? You've done a good job there. Yorkshireman doesn't want to waste anything. Where Trans all the ribs are. Yeah. You've lost like a millimetre, and through the back, all you can see. Oh, there. you can see daylight. Yeah. So yeah, and this is going to go in the crab pot, so we're going to try and turn that into a lobster. There you go. Excellent work, Skipper. And then you'll just take fins off, V-bone v that bone. thing out. The reason why you call it V-bone is because you literally you turn it into a V. And you see a lot of, when you go to Chippy, you, that's how you see your battered fish sometimes, isn't it, like that? There we go. Pollock fillets, done. Right, well. The pots have been up. Yeah, I'm off it. I'm off the edge. Uh, spider crab, John, for people that don't know. They're painting ass out there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. So that'll get thrown back. Worse than now. Worse than now. And that's all we have got is two, two, two little spider crabs. Two little spider crabs. There's now to be at on them. Is there's nothing, nothing good about that. Keepers. Well, they've got to be 13 centimeters across the back, and that'll probably be about 12. Hard lads. Hard lads. Right. So we'll sling them back. Put the um, pollock that we've got back into these pots. Oh, I'm of it side. And then I think we'll call it, won't we? Yeah, it's starting to go ashore and get dry. Yeah. Old man's beard. Which is a lichen and it's amazing for uh, starting fires. Makes a great little tinder bundle. So this plant here is called Hemlock Water Dropwort. And it is by far the most poisonous plant in the UK. More deadly than a death cat mushroom. Uh, and it looks, and it looks very edible. Smells very edible. But that will end your life. Very, 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 very toxic plant. Um, and a little somber fact for you is that when it you know if you if you do ingest it if you're unlucky enough to ingest it and you pass away you're left with like it contracts your, your face muscles and leaves you with a like a grin on your mouth and they call it a sedonic grin because they used to
they used to kill prisoners in Sardinia I think it was or somewhere like that and they used this to kill the prisoners and they were left with a, a sardonic grin which is quite macabre but it's definitely one to remember just so that you can stay away from it oh nice let's have a little goose down here look how the harbour wall has sort of incorporated this big natural stone into the corner of it pretty neat Should get down onto it visibility looks brilliant get on top of here look circle circle of life Arcator I'm off new place new me new year new me the light isn't very good on this is it today new year new me look at this for a setup tent I've got all, all gear just to drying out on back at truck <laughs> I've even got look please please don't judge me but look <laughs> just in a chair mate whatever spoilt rotten I can even sit on my little tailgate if I want just showing you different places where I can sit that's content I'm hoping it'll be a nice sunset from here so I can watch that from the comfort of my chair I might even wrap wool blanket around my legs like some old duffer and as the sun sets on my final night in Cornwall I'd just like to take this opportunity <laughs> I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank, uh, to thank everybody, thank my teachers at school, thank God, you know, thank everybody, thanks, uh, just thank you, take care of yourselves, au revoir.